Hey, how's it going, everybody? I am so happy to see each and every one of you. It's Matt, and it is another day. It is Wild Wednesday, finally. And I have a wild, wild, wild one for you. First and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic day thus far. Uh, morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, whatever it is when you're watching this, I hope you're having a great time with some family and some friends, with some loved ones, doing whatever it is that makes you happy, because that's what's most important in life, is making yourself happy. Now, <clears throat> on to today's movie. It is a fantastic one. It's from 2016. Uh, it's running about an hour and a half, hour and 33 minutes-ish. Um, stars Michael St. Michael, Sky El Elobar, uh, Elizabeth Durazo, Gil Gex, Adelunye Ngam, uh, Holly McFallister, Sam Disignake, and Joe David Water Wal Walters. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Directed by Jim Hosking. Yes, yes, yes. This is a fantastic film. If you haven't noticed by now, it is the Greasy Strangler. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is the, I believe, uh, future. Sh yes, it's f the Future Shock release over uh, uh, Region Two, Region B release. Uh, no worries on that. It is um, Region Free. It says B on the back of it, but I am playing it on a regular uh, Region One Blu-ray player, and it it plays it, so no worries on that end. Um, it does have the uh, the alternate the the regular cover artwork right here. Um, it is the European release, so it will have the the eighteen logos on it, much like here on the first, which I am perfectly okay with. I think it adds a little extra to it. Uh, I don't know, just a little something, I guess. And it is, like I said, a Blu-ray. And they, they are kind enough to make it a clear case, which is awesome to go with with the other clear cases I have. I am a huge fan of the clear cases for the for the uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. I think it, they're pretty cool doing that. Um, <clears throat> it adds a little something extra. Other, otherwise, um, I like what some people are doing with colored cases. Uh, director Samuel Vanese, he... he uh, he uh, uh, is does cool stuff with his his work. He uh, he'll do like one he did was it had a yellow case, and his new film uh, Violet's gonna have a violet color case. It's pretty sweet. Um, definitely check out his stuff if you haven't. I really am a huge 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 fan of his stuff. Uh, good kid. He's got it. Like I said, another film coming out here uh sometime this next year uh, i think he said february ish maybe march i can't remember maybe it was the end of january i'll have to talk to him again and see what see what's the uh the scoop on that but anyways back to today's movie um now what is it about <laughs> uh you know it's one of those it's about a, a father and a son uh big Big Ronnie is played by Scott, or I mean uh, Michael St. Michaels, who f was at one point in his career John Travolta's hairdresser. Which, how the hell did he go from from Oh my God, I'm John Travolta's hairdresser to the Greasy Strangler? Man, it's awesome. Uh, one of the one of my favorite films of 2016, uh, probably my favorite one I, I can, that I can think of right now. Um, one of my favorite newer releases in a long time. I, I was a little late to the game on this one. I didn't get to see it uh, uh, until last year or the year before. I can't remember. I think it was the year before. And I felt so stupid for not jumping on the ball much earlier because I'd heard about it. I knew all about it. Like I knew people were really giving it high praise. I had just not get, gotten to it yet. And I feel like it feel stupid for not doing that because this is a great one. Um, but back on to uh, uh, Michael St. Michaels is Big Ronnie and and uh, Big Braden is played by Sky Elabar. And they run a uh, walking disco tour. And the stuff that Big Ronnie comes up with, it makes you, it just makes you giggle because it's like, no, that can't, and none of these facts can be true. Uh, they were waiting outside, uh, 
to be picked up so they can go get Chinese is like one of the for for somebody's birthday was for like one of the excuses. Um, this has got some of the best one-liners that I've heard in a long, long time. Uh, it's well worth the uh, the the watch, watch just for the one-liners. Um, fans of Napoleon Dynamite, I guarantee you'll like this because my best way to describe it is call uh, Napoleon Dynamite if Uncle Rico was was a serial killer. That's how I describe it to a lot of my friends or a lot of the people that I know, um, people that I talk to, I guess. There are friends are very small. <laughs> Not many of those. Um, but I uh, know I kid. I consider all of you my friends. I do. Um, back on to this one. So they run a disco tour, a walking disco tour. Uh, you're treated right away with them taking out this, this group of, of people and in it is Elizabeth DeRazzo and she, I forget her character's name, right, right this, this minute, uh, Janet is her name, Janet, uh, Janet is one of the, uh, uh, patrons to the, to the, uh, um, disco tour. Now... There's other characters along with that. There's a um, fellow from India. There's a fellow from Africa, and then I'm guessing the the third fellow was from the the um, Midwest, Upper Midwest, because he kind of had a, one of those kind of accents. But he might have even been Canadian. You know, I'm not not a hundred percent. The closer you get to that. Uh, Canadian border, the more you start to sound like a youper, you know what I mean, eh? You gotta go around there and get some of them Molsons. <laughs> I kid, I kid, you Canadian friends, I joke. Um, so, uh, you're on to that. There's a nice little argument about free drinks. Um, you fast forward, uh, there's a nice little, little, uh, uh, thing between Braden, Big Braden and, and uh, Big Ronnie where they talk about the Greasy Strangler and how he he's, thinks that he's the Greasy Strangler and that he really is the Greasy Strangler. But Big Braden thinks he's a bullshit artist. And, and that's another huge thing is bullshit artist. That's a huge, huge thing in this. You will hear that term so many times it'll make make you just die laughing it it makes me laugh every single time i watch it this is this is classic stuff i've watched it like five or six times already in the last couple of year or couple of years whatever it is since i first watched this you know this is this is awesome stuff you know um you got some funny kills in here uh you got um, some great, like I said, great one-liners, some great interaction with, with other people in the film, with a fellow that runs a, um, a, uh, hot dog stand, and he, he has a run-in with him, and that, that is a, a classic, that's a great scene, um, when they first meet Janet, and, and how Big Braden likes her, and how he's a, just a big old cornball, and, Oh my goodness. And then you get the greasy strangler part of it. And Big Ronnie it's no it's no secret that he's the greasy strangler right from the beginning. You know, it's it's one of those it's like, well, you're not it's not a not a secret nor a surprise. Um <clears throat> but it it shows the ignorance of both Braden and and uh Janet because they are there around him and they don't realize it's him until towards the end and ever and big Braden gets shit scared and when he gets shit scared that's when things start to happen that's that's a big that's that's a big thing with this this thing <laughs> uh there's a some magical love scene between uh Janet and Braden uh one that will that is the most awkward scenes I have ever seen love making scenes I have ever seen in film ever um I have yet to see anything that is like it it's more awkward than the sex scene one of the sex scene any of the sex scenes in the room uh it's just it's just oh it's 
it's almost skin skin crawling, almost cringy, like how bad it is. Uh, <laughs> you're treated to a lot of other things. You got a guy in there that has a pig nose. Uh, you got he wear also wears women's shoes. You got a a blind, uh, um, yeah, not a gas station, a wash, uh, a car wash uh, attendant who is friends with Big Ronnie and they go out disco dancing. Um, there is a magical magical scene where that where both Big Ronnie and Janet go out on a date. You know, it's just so on and so on and so on. There's so many magical scenes from beginning to end in this. It's it's pure gold. Now, as far as um, the story goes, I don't want to give anything else away. I've blabbered on enough. I feel like I've rambled a lot on this one. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but. Onto the ratings. Technical side. Uh, I would say this is probably a four. It's nice and crispy. It's There's nothing bad about it. There's it, Anything that has to do with plot holes can are easily uh, overlooked because of how wacky and out there this movie is. You can easily explain anything. Um, so... You don't have to worry about that. Um, as far as it, how it looks, it looks really nice. And on the Blu-ray, it's really, really clean. And, and like I said, it's crispy. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So we got a four on that technical side. Uh, now on the uh, entertainment side, this son of a gun is a full-on five. Five, 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 my friends. Yes, it, I I absolutely adore this one. Uh, one I hope each and every one of you see. No kids allowed on this one. This is definitely a grown-ups movie only. Um, unless you're one of those parents that lets your kid watch watch uh, stuff like this. But I highly suggest not not doing that. Because there is some things in here you can't really... You don't want to explain. I'm going to set that down. Um, like I said, all right, so we got a four and a five, and that's a solid nine, folks. That's pretty good, man. I mean, for for a uh, uh, a newer film, one that I was late to the game on and uh, that I love, I hope each and every one of you go out and, and search it out and watch it, whether you stream it or you buy it. Um, check it out. It is highly, highly, highly suggested on my on my end of, of reviewing. So uh, with all that being said, I hope all of you have a great day. I'm going to roll the hell out of here. I'm coming up on 13 minutes. So let's do the routine as always. I love your faces and peace.